Hello and welcome to another practice session for TI for JG Bills type questions. So if you are preparing for TI for JG Bills, you might be super confused because these questions are different from any other examinations. So you must be thinking where to practice questions from, what should be the standard of this question. Then this video would be super helpful because at the end of this video, you'll get some idea. And there are three more sessions associated with it. You can click on the link in the i button which is on the top hand side of your screen so you would get all the links by the way if you are a second year student and aiming for iit jam 23 let me tell you unacademy's venture batch would be a good option for you guys which is starting on december 1st that means right today and this batch is super useful for your preparation journey because india's best educator would be throughout this journey guiding you and there would be doubt clearing sessions mock tests there would be theory sessions all of these is available in this course so all the descriptions are provided in the uh, description section you can click on the link in the description to register and let's move on to the question answer sessions so question one says blood test results from person a and person b after 18 hours of fasting is summarized below person a has high blood glucose and high ketone bodies while person b has low blood glucose and high ketone bodies based on this result what can be predicted about their medical conditions person a is diabetic while person b is normal person b is diabetic person a is normal person both of them are diabetic person b has a risk of developing to acidosis now the correct answer here would be option a let me give you the explanation look at person a's blood test result he has very high blood glucose level even after 18 hours of fasting that means his body cannot utilize glucose and the glucose cannot be uptaken from the blood and cannot be channeled into the tissue tissue space that simply tells us that he has diabetes and when diabetes happens, when body fails to utilize glucose, then body needs alternative energy sources. That's why ketone body production has dramatically increased. For, and especially he is also fasting for 18 hours. So obviously ketone body is expected to be higher. Now, <clears throat> next what is going to happen is person B. Person B has low blood glucose level. That is expected, right, for, from a normal person. Because if he is fasting for 18 hours, all the glucose is depleted. Even the glycogen stores would be possibly depleted by that time. So body would generate ketone bodies as an alternative energy source. So person B is completely normal while person A is diabetic. That's the correct answer. Next question. Question number two says, you have hypothesized uh, kinase A, phosphorylate B, uh, and leads to expression of gene X. What will happen to the expression of gene X if you overexpress kinase A in a background of mutant kinase B? So this is a hypothetical cell signaling pathway. You think that ligand binding to receptor leads to activation of kinase A, which further activates kinase B and that leads to the target gene X. Now the question is, if we have a mutant cell line where B is mutated and you overexpress A, what would happen? gene x expression would be reduced so gene x expression is the readout gene x expression would be increased gene x expression would remain the same and nothing can be commented about the expression levels correct answer here would be so pause this video and think a little bit current correct answer would be gene x expression would be reduced because gene x expression requires this kinase b right and kinase b is possibly activated by a now, in a mutant kinase B background, no matter how much kinase A you put, nothing would happen because gene expression of X requires kinase B. So, in order to rescue this kind of deficiency, we need to put kinase B, not kinase A. So, there would be a fail to rescue of this phenotype and the gene expression would be reduced as expected in just a kinase B mutant. Okay. Question 3. A hypothetical biochemical pathway is shown and based on that you have a question. So you can see the biochemical pathway is like 
A goes to D in a subsequent four step process. A goes to B, then goes to C, then goes to D. Three enzymes are involved and three modulators of these enzymes are involved. X and Y positively modulate <coughs> enzyme 1 and 2. Z negatively modulates um, enzyme 3. Now the question is, you have noticed that loss of function mutation in X and Y leads to redu reduction, reduced production of D. That's expected because both X and Y are positive modulators. So if you reduce these, uh, if you have a mutation in X and Y, which are loss of function, then what happens? D production goes down. Now in this case, they have asked that if Y and Z are mutated, so it's a double mutant background and both a loss of function mutation, what would happen to production of D, right? In this background, you have also added agonist for E2, okay? So the production would increase, decrease, remain the same or nothing can be, uh, or production of B is augmented. So the correct answer would be production of D will increase. Why is so? So notice you have two mutation background. So Y is mutated, Z is mutated. When Y is mutated, the positive modulator is gone. So obviously production should be reduced. But at the same time, when Z is mutated, the negative regulator is also gone, right? And under these kind of circumstances, which was kind of neutralizing to each other. So if alone Z is gone, Z, Z's activity is gone or there is a loss of function mutation in Z, production of D should be increased because Z is a suppressor kind of thing and uh, Y is kind of like an inducer kind of thing. But in a double mutant, it's kind of like a neutral situation. But in this double mutant, if you pharmacologically add an agonist for E2, then what happens? E2 activity increases. So conversion from B to C really increases. Now Z is not present. So E3 is working even in a uh, augmented fashion. So the step from C to D would be uh, even more. As an end result, production of D will increase. Now question number four, a cancer researcher wanted to compare a patient derived cell line X with the control cell line, which is C, for determining the characteristics of the cancer. In order to check the rate of division, he gave five hours of pulse of BRD, which is a uridine analog. So, and then he washed it off and transferred the cell in regular media. What would be the correct observation of this experiment. 30 minutes after the pulse, the cell line X has higher number of BRDU positive cells compared to cell line C. Two days after, he collected equal number of cells from both the plates and found that sample from X has lower BRDU compared to sample C. Both the observations are correct and then last option is only A is correct, B is not logical. So the correct option here would be C. Both options are correct. Okay, so they he give up 30 minutes of BRDU pulse. Now imagine a cancer cell is highly dividing cell. So some of these cells at that point of BRDU pulse was basically <coughs> undergoing S phase. So they are labeled, right? So 30 minutes after the pulse, if he checks, so obviously the cancer cell line would show higher BRDU labeling. Now, so when he looks after two days, by that time what happens? Cells are dividing in the plates. Cancer cells are dividing at a very high rate. Whereas uh, normal cells are not dividing that high rate compared to a cancer cell line. So in cancer cell line, what happens is BRDU is diluted. Now if you take a little bit amount of cell, random cell sample from those plates, the cancer cell line would even show higher dilution of BRDU because it's basically dividing much at a, at a much higher uh, pace than the control cell line C. So both the of both both these options are correct. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, give it a quick thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for uh, more thought provoking uh, questions. Stay tuned to the channel and do let me know in the comment if you have a suggestion. Thank you.